Good morning once again. Uh, you heard this talk, but this talk is ever expanding. So I hope it will change as time goes by. I'm planning to make it seven multifocal IR out of seven years next year. So as we move along, we learn stuff. And I'm not going to repeat all the smaller detail of each lens because you heard it before, you heard it in this morning's talk. I just point out a few interesting things that, uh, that I regard as interesting. More than the norm. Mm -hmm. uh, our study included 302 lenses over six years. Mm -hmm. uh, the principles, once again, we know it, most of you know it, but there's always a new register or two who may not know that so well. So the light is divided. That's the bottom line. Because you divide the light, there is less light available. The next thing is simultaneous vision of two or more images are perceived. And the one image is in focus and the other image or more than one image are out of focus. So actually this patient is getting monocular diplopia. We're giving it to him at an extra fee. These people get the scriptopsia at night and it's caused by the out of focus image. And although they claim to get used to it over a year, it's actually still there. And if you ask them about it, they will say, no, it's okay. And we say, but let's make sure they still have it, all of it. But they get used to it, or you can call it neuroadaptation or what you want. And then in, included in this package is the loss of 6 to up to 22 percent of light. Now, it's like, I think, from my point of view, it's like walking outside on a cloudy day, on a heavily overcast day. You can see everything, but you've lost some contrast, you've lost some quality, you've lost light. And then, therefore, scotopic vision is always reduced, and loss of contrast occurred in some of them more than in others. Waxy vision is reported. Now there's a new generation of presbyopia corrective IRL that take the symphony. They claim extended range of vision. One elongated focus, they say, delivers a continuous range of high quality vision. And is clear of better comparable to a monofocal IRL. non toric as well as toric versions are available. Now what I do is I don't believe anybody. So we get the lens, we use it and we measure for ourselves. And then we get some interesting results. Now let's go back to the initial lens. We all know the Acrosoft Restore lens from Alcon. There you see the pictures of the lens. I'm not going to repeat the general characteristics of every lens, the size, the acidity, etc., the A constant. So I'll talk about the unique optical qualities of this lens. It's bifocal, central diffractive region. It's apodized, which means that the diffractive step heights uh, become less and there's a peripheral refractive region. But look at the light distribution, 41% for far, 41% for near and 18% reflected or lost. The effect and side effects like all the others. Scotopic vision reduced, loss of contrast is common and it's very critical that you have a good far vision for these patients. If the distant vision is wrong, for the patient is unhappy. That's how it works. The lens is M plus. There are many lenses, lenses, lenses available. This is the one we use. You can see the shape of the lens with the bifocal um, optic. General characteristics we don't talk about. The unique optical characteristics. It's bifocal. It's not concentric. It's symmetrical for 360 degrees. And now personal experience, which is not spoken about very often, but the distance segment of the lens must be in line with the visual axis to prevent induced myopia. Sometimes the capture, capture bag will contract and the lens will move upward if you put it in vertically. So then the bifocal segment of this lens will move in front of the optical axis of the patient. And they can see 6 6 far, 6 6 near and intermediate and they're very, very unhappy. So you must make sure that the distance uh, part of the lens is in front of the visual axis. 
division of life once again, as you can see, this lens has the least loss of life, only 6%. And you can see the meridiana area, which is reflecting some light, which causes the 6% loss of light. The point spread function of this lens is unique, and because it looks like it looks, you could perhaps put the lens upside down, so that those two lines there point upwards, where it's less troublesome than when it's pointing downwards. Fine vision trifocal, you've spoken about it, it's an excellent lens, trifocal, it works, got good results, but there also is loss of light. And as you can see, the 15% of light is lost. And the other is divided 41, 29, and 15%. So you can understand that there's not as much light as we are used to. When we have a monofocal IR in our eyes, and here we have the pattern, the diffractive pattern, and then the side effects, dyspotopsia always there, loss of contact common, reduced photopic vision, and once again, the distant vision must be good. The new, a new interesting lens for me was the Anita Bunny lens. It's got the bunny ears. I don't like the name very much, but it's Africa, so maybe it's not so bad. Um, it is a bifocal lens. Now, in our setting, we have people with a lot of money, but we don't have a lot of people with money. So, we have to give them an option. I'll say to them, you can choose between the, in this situation, the thickness uh, lens, which is all the other trifocals, which gives you three focal points, one close, one intermediate, one near, it costs so much. I don't give them the price, and they do that. Or you can get the other cheaper version, and then their eyes light up. And I, I say, but it only gives you a near vision and a far vision. And then they invariably go for the cheaper one for financial reasons. But the, the best story was this big, strong, far away country. I want this lens. I said, I don't think you're a good candidate. He said, I want to see without loss. And he's not a good candidate. His whole personality is not good. And I put, it's not a bad guy. It's not good personality for the lens. And I put the lens in. And the next day, he came back. And he sat on the wrong chair where the spectators, the family, the supporters should sit. And he said, Doc, I think this thing has been a flop. I said, no. I had to calm him down. I said, no, 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 no. When we put in the next one, it will be a lot better. So we put in the next one, and it was a lot better. But he is still not totally happy because of all the side effects that we know of. Besides eight Elisa, but gave us, in the end, the best results, but we only did eight of them. It's a trifocal, trifocal lens, it's an excellent lens, it's, it's on a plate haptic, and I am planning to do more of them. To get the numbers up to be more comparative, comparable to the others. And they claim a very, very good uh, contrast sensitivity and we could actually identify with that. We've got the same contrast sensitivity than what they got. Then the Tekka Symphony from AMO. They say it's an elongated focus. Now, you know, there are nine rings. So I presume, in my lack of diffractive knowledge, that you get nine focal points in a row. But they don't say that. So maybe I'm wrong. But that's the way I think about it. And I think because that is the, the, the makeup of the lens, you basically get nine focal points, nine different images, which supposed to create a long focus. The scotopic vision is reduced. It gave us good contrast uh, sensitivity, but we'll get to that just now. And here we have all the pictures, you can Google it, it's on the internet, uh, and you can compare the different focal uh, points. There we have 
to this different folk ballet from the multi-folk dance, and this is a symphony with the elongated focus. Now you can tell the race. I, if you count the race, I think there are nine. But you know, once again, maybe I'm wrong. And then there's achromatic technology, which is on the posterior surface of the lens, which also makes this lens better when it comes to contrast sensitivity. And we compare these lenses at different distances. And here we saw that for six meters, we did not compare all of them again. We, we, we will get to that in the future. But the AT Lisa was best for six meters. The, the symphony was best for intermediate. And the AT Lisa was best for near. The Anita did well, but not 100% as good as the other two. Remember, the Anita is a bifocal lens. Now, if you look at contrast sensitivity, this was very interesting. We only had eight ATVs or twice, but look, it's the best. And the, if you look at the symphony a company's claim, it's supposed to be better. But once again, we only had, I think, 19 symphony lenses. So but our follow-up is not completed. We are still working on the series. And then the Anita was actually comparable to the symphony, which is not bad at all. So in summary, Patient selection is always of prime importance. You must get good distant vision. Patients will tolerate poor intermediate vision, they'll tolerate poor near vision, but if your distant vision is bad, they say it's a bad lens. Micromonovision vision may work if you stumble upon it. You don't aim for it, but it can happen. Scotopic vision is usually reduced. This photopsia is always present, but many or may diminish over time. Then we must remember first of astigmatism must be less than one diopter. And you must aim for it, and you must plan for it. Uh, with your pre op astigmatism evaluation, with your surgical technique, with your local relaxed incisions, or with your tolerance. And then it's something that we tend to forget. Even slight PCO can reduce the vision and increase side effects. So if you think I may or may not do a YAG laser, then you probably should do it. And here we go. I have the prices in South Africa and just look at the difference. For that, the one lens 3695, that's not the, too much. But if you go to the top end, that's three times the, the amount. And where we are, many people just cannot afford it. So thank you very much. I hope uh, you enjoyed it.